Farmhouse style shelves are simple and inexpensive to make. Since they are to have a distressed look, you can get away with regular pine lumber and less labor in finishing. Purchase or build wood corbels and 2x lumber for the shelves. I'm using 2x10s for this project. You may want to choose lumber that has a lot of blemishes, knots, and saw marks in order to get the distressed look that you want. Use a sander to knock off any splinters and ink markings if needed. And then clean the dust off using a damp cloth or a tack cloth. Purchase a wood stain of your desired color and stir well. Do not shake or you will have foam-like bubbles in your stain. Use a soft rag, such as an old sock, to apply the stain. Apply it evenly, wiping with the grain of the wood until you have full coverage of the exposed surface. It's a good idea to wear nitro gloves when handling the stain. It is very difficult to clean it off of your skin. Once the stain has been applied, allow it to penetrate the wood for 5 to 15 minutes to achieve the desired color. The imperfections, such as saw marks like these, will begin to stand out during this absorption period. Then, remove the unabsorbed stain with a clean cloth. Wipe in the direction of the grain. If you want a darker color, then reapply in 4-6 to six hours. After the 24-hour drying time, I used a 320 grit sanding sponge to prep the surface for polyurethane. Lightly sand the surface to knock off any dried on matter until you get the desired feel. Then finish up using a tack cloth for the final surface prep. Repeat this process of sanding, staining, and cleaning on the bottom side of the shelves. Next, I used a clear satin polyurethane for my finish coat. Do not shake the polyurethane to mix. Instead, use a stirring stick and stir well. Apply a thin coat using a brush designed for polyurethane. Make long strokes in the direction of the wood grain and then allow to dry for 24 hours. While the shelves were drying, I turned my attention to the corbels. The finish I used was a combination of chalk paint and wax decorative finish. Chalk paint can be applied on unfinished surfaces and is very forgiving once dried. Mix the paint by shaking and stirring well, and then apply using a paintbrush. With chalk paint, a little goes a long way. Apply paint on a clean surface, going along with the grain of the wood. Paint each corbel using a thick or thin layer of paint, depending on your desired look. Make sure the paint gets into all the cracks and crevices. Inspect for runs and smooth them out while the paint is still wet. One of the benefits of chalk paint is its quick drying time. It will dry to touch in one hour and will be ready to receive a second coat in two hours if so desired. Once the paint is dry, the surface can be given a distressed look. I created distress marks using an 80 grit sanding sponge. Sand in random spots as little or as much as you want until you're satisfied with the end result. I found that focusing on corners and ridges really made the distress more believable. Also, distressing points and peaks of routered edges amplified the dimension of the router design. I compared all the corbels and made sure they were equally distressed. After touching up a few spots, the worn and used look was complete. The next step is to make them look old. I accomplished this using wax decorative finish. Using a natural bristle brush or lint-free cloth, spread the wax evenly over the surface. Work the wax into every crevice and focus on the distressed areas. There is no need to brush with the grain, just as long as each piece gets full coverage. Allow the wax to dry for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then wipe and buff using a clean cloth. The amount of time you leave the wax on will depend on personal desired effect. Wax can be reapplied as needed. Once the finish is cured, the corbels can be hung on the wall and topped with a shelf.